Hey everyone, today we have a nice easy recipe for you, perfect for, you know, during the week when you wanna get dinner on the table and you want it to be healthy and delicious and flavorful. So today's recipe, we're making Asian turkey bowls loaded up with vegetables. It's low carb and like I said, full of flavor. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. Okay, so before we get into our recipe and the ingredients, I just wanna encourage you to hit that subscribe button right now and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out and we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy for you. So if you're into healthy eating, you don't wanna miss any. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. All right, let's go over those ingredients. So for our ingredients, we'll need a pound of ground turkey. I have some cauliflower rice here, it's already prepared and you can buy it at the store already riced or you can do it yourself and I happen to have a video for you if you'd like to see that. I would like to mention though that if you buy it already riced compared to doing it yourself, the quality isn't quite as good. You end up with a lot of, they put a lot of stems in there and you can tell because how hard it is. So I like more fl florets, they cook up quicker. It's just, I like it better. But anyway, the choice is yours. We'll need some diced up red bell pepper. I have some shredded carrot, chopped up zucchini and asparagus. I have the super fine dice here on some yellow onion and I have a video for that as well if you wanna know how to cut it up really fine and very quickly. So go ahead and check that out. Also, we'll need some broccoli florets. I bought these, uh, I bought these at Costco and they're organic. Uh, sesame oil, we need some of that. Coconut aminos. Now, if you're not familiar with that, it's sort of like a soy sauce substitute, but it's made out of coconuts, of course. And here's what the bottle looks like. You can pick yourself up a bottle of this at Trader Joe's or even just a you know, regular supermarket. We'll need some fresh ginger. Now here I just taken the back of a spoon and peeled off the skin of the ginger and then used a microplane and just, you know, made it nice and fine. We'll need some garlic powder and some salt. All right, we're gonna start cooking here. I've got a, a large frying, a deep frying pan here so I can get everything in at the end and it's not falling out of the pan. Over medium heat, I'm just gonna put just a touch of ol uh, olive oil in there. When I'm cooking, I'm gonna start with the ground turkey first. Let me add just a little more oil. All right, here goes our ground turkey. I'm gonna break it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this. And garlic powder. So while our turkey is cooking, I'm gonna combine the coconut aminos in a bowl here. We're gonna combine and make our sauce. Very simple sauce to make. We'll add the ginger. I'm gonna add some of the garlic powder and the sesame oil. Sesame oil is a very strong flavor, so you don't wanna to use too much, but it adds a really nice flavor. And then you're just gonna whisk this just to get everything combined. So our turkey's almost done. You wanna get it pretty much done. Just make sure you break it up into little pieces. That way it's, you know, it distributes throughout your whole dish. All right, right when all the pink is gone on the, the turkey, I'm gonna take some of the sauce, maybe not quite, maybe half, and I'm gonna put it in there with the meat and stir that up. And that's gonna flavor our meat. All right, now I'm gonna place the meat into a bowl that I have just behind the stove here and we're gonna keep it warm. Now we'll cover that. Got my flame back up to medium high. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan, about a tablespoon or so. And then I'm gonna add the onion and we're gonna cook this for about three minutes. All right, now it's time to add the cauliflower to this. And you can see how our pan gets pretty full pretty quick. I'm gonna add the broccoli, because broccoli takes a little while to cook. 
going to toss in those bell peppers. I'm going to toss in the carrots. Look at that. And certainly feel free to change up your vegetables. You don't like in some of these, you can you know sub in whatever you want, really. We're also going to add some salt to this and our garlic powder. I'm going to spread it around. And we're going to just cook this up for about, you know, five to seven minutes, something like that. I'm going to put the lid on it too. That'll help cook the broccoli and soften that up. All right, let's check this. It's been about five minutes. The broccoli's looking good. It's got a nice bright green color to it. Now we're going to add the zucchini and the asparagus. They don't take as long to cook. All right, so we're going to go probably another five minutes and we'll do it covered. That'll speed it up. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my sauce that I have here. And I'm just going to pour it in, spread it around so it's easier to distribute. And that makes it taste super yummy. Now you want to stir that in. Okay, once it's combined, looks like it's pretty well combined, cover it up again. All right, I've been cooking this another about four minutes or so. I'm going to check it. it. Looks, I think it looks pretty good. Take a fork and, you know, poke one of your vegetables. That looks like that's done to me. Broccoli's got a nice little crispness to it. Looks perfect. All right. What we're going to do now is add the turkey back to this and stir it in. We want to get it, make sure it's nice and hot. Everything in here is hot, so this looks so good, guys. And it makes a nice batch. And believe me, you'll eat a ton of this. It's so tasty. I'm just going to let it heat up a little bit, and then we're ready to serve this up. Here's our dish, quick and easy. And I tell you, it's just, it's super simple, right? I mean, it didn't take very long to cook. It's healthy. It's flavorful. Um, also, I wanted to mention something you can add to the sauce to this that adds a, a new addition to it if you want to. Now recently I, I posted a video on how to make chicken wings hot and spicy and I used date paste. Okay, so I really like date paste a whole bunch. It's just, it's an incredible sweetener. I think it's much healthier for you than sugar and you have a lot of vitamins and you know all the good stuff in there. So anyway, you can add, make a little extra of that sometime, a date paste and you can add that to this, just like a tablespoon. A heaping tablespoon would be plenty. Gives it just a subtle hintness of sweetness that is just delicious. So I'm gonna make a video on how to make the date paste, so stay tuned for that. You won't wanna miss that. All right, guys, let's serve this up. And I get to eat it. I'm, of course, famished. Can't wait to chow down. Here we go. Mmm. Almost forgot sesame seeds. If you like sesame seeds, you can garnish it a little bit on top with some sesame seeds. That's always a nice addition, a little crunch. But that is delicious, guys. The sauce, simple ingredients, not too many, but it's that sesame oil that I really love. Gives this just a wonderful flavor. I hope you try it. Very good. I can't wait to just devour this whole thing. And like I said, you make it a fair amount. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the recipe, and uh, you know, Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, let me know if you're going to try it, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and don't forget that notification bell that'll notify you when my new videos come out. Thanks again for watching everybody, we'll see you next time. Take care.